What's up people? In this video, I want to talk to you what possibly could be the arcade one-up killer. Alright guys, so in my last video, I did a little review of my arcade one-up cabinet that I got, the 12-in-1. Since then, I've been playing it a lot, but since then, I actually picked up this Pandora box. And the reason I'm doing this video is because any of you guys that um, might be looking into the arcade one up and uh, you're thinking those are a little expensive for what you're getting, this might be a good alternative for you guys that still want to pay, play the older games, kind of have the arcade feel, but don't want to spend all the money. Alright, guys, so just in case you guys don't know what the Pandora box is, here's a look at it. And this is it next to the arcade one up. As you guys can see, the panel itself is a little bit bigger, a little wider. Here's another quick shot from above of the two uh, arcade panels. All right, guys, so inside here is the actual Pandora box. There's about four screws underneath here. You unscrew them, and this panel actually opens up, it's on hinges, and that's what the inside looks like. So for all you DIYers, the joysticks, all the buttons are easily, can be switched out with uh, new buttons or if you have a preference on a different brand, all the stuff can be switched out. But right here in the middle is actually the Pandora box. And that is pretty much the heart of the whole arcade system. All the ROMs and everything get preloaded into that. All the wires get ran up here. And um, pretty much the little CPU in there allows you to play all the games. Now also, just a little side note, when I was looking into these, I uh, realized that there are a lot of clones out there. They'll be, they'll actually say Pandora box on it, but it's actually not an authentic or original Pandora box. The authentic Pandora box is actually made by a company by 3A. And I'll post a couple links of where you can actually pick up this type of box. But all the other ones that are knockoffs, um, they're not going to have the same CPU in there. Um, the same actual green box that's actually the Pandora box. So they won't, the games won't play as smooth, um, and you'll get some lag. Some of the games don't work at all. Um, there's just been a lot of known problems with the clones. So if you do pick up one of these, you're going to want to get the original 3A version of the Pandora box. Now this is the Pandora box 6. Um, so if you look for it, I'll put the link to the 6 in the description box. This is the 8 button, and they do have a 6 button also. Real quick, I'll show you the front of it. Here's where your power plugs in. You can run an HDMI to your TV. You got a VGA here. You got an audio input 3.5. You have a volume switch here to turn it up and down. Here's a button for the settings. And then you have three USB slots here. You're gonna use one of these USB slots with the provided USB drive. Um, and that's going to have all your games loaded on it. And that's what's actually um, going to be where your games are going to be saved and pulled from when you're actually playing them. Here's everything it comes with. Comes with a manual. Comes with the VGA cable. A couple extra buttons. Comes with a USB. And then these two bags actually had the power cable and then an HDMI plug to plug in the back of your TV or whatever you prefer and then there's some more instructions there for downloading the games. Now these games don't come preloaded on the Pandora box or on the USB. You have to they actually give you um, a link to a website and then you actually go to that link and you got to download everything onto the USB drive 
and they do that for copyright reasons. Now on the back here, just plug in your power, and then your HDMI. You'll see that the Pandora box powered on. And this actually has a built-in speaker in it. Top buttons there actually light up. Both sides. Take a closer look at the buttons. Now, like I said, if you guys don't like the colors or you just want to redo the buttons, you can easily just pop open this box and redo the buttons with whatever you choose to. Obviously, to turn it on, just hit this power button here. This is what it looks like when it powers on Pandora Box 6. So you're probably wondering why this possibly might be the arcade one-up killer. Well, the reason I said that is because the Pandora box is right around $200 $250 depending on where you get it. But it actually comes with 1,300 games. As you can see, scrolling down, there's no lag. You have pages up top, and there's tons of games. Here's some PlayStation games that are on there. Got Tekken, Mortal Kombat. You got Street Fighters. I was just playing NBA Jam the other day on here. But there's tons, tons of games on here. Games I've never even heard before. We got The Simpsons, WWF, Jackie Chan. I mean, it's going to take a while to go through all these games and actually play them. So I've just been playing my favorites. Um, Super Mario, some Tetris, I actually have the Centipede on here and Millipede. It's a little bit different playing it with the joysticks. I actually prefer playing it with the trackball. But, I mean, for $200, $250, and it's as easy as loading up the games, plugging in the power, plugging in HDMI to your TV of choice, and you and another person are ready to play, um, you can't really beat it. Now one of the downfalls I did notice playing this is you can actually go into the settings. Here's the settings right here. And uh, you can test your joysticks and your buttons on that first one. But the point I want to make here is you can go in here and you can actually change the button mapping um, it originally had it, the A, B, C, D that you see there to the right. And uh, I didn't really like it. didn't seem natural, so I changed it to the A, B, C on the top and D, E, F on the bottom. Now, with this having so many games, the only problem is each game isn't going to have the, the right... Not, I should say not all the games are going to have the right button pattern. Um, 
so it can get frustrating. The games I have played, I've been able to just change the button mapping and then it was fine. Um, but you might run into a problem where if you're playing a game um, and there's bu multiple buttons being used, you might have to learn it for a quick second just to make sure you got all the buttons where they're supposed to be and then uh, you won't have a problem playing it. Also on here is the game settings. You can go into that. And then for each one of the games here, you actually can set up the difficulty, how many lives you want. You can edit the game list. Um, and you actually also can go back to the beginning and you actually can add games just to a favorite list so you don't have to uh, scroll through all the games to find the one that you want to play. All right, to the bottom right there, you hit player one, uh, and that takes you to the indexing mode. There's the indexing mode, and this is uh, where you can actually go by category, or you can actually look it up by name. Let's make it a little bit easier. So I guess if you want, say Donkey Kong, you can click on D. Come over here, takes you to the D's. There's Dig Dog. And there's Donkey Kong. You got Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr. Um, tons and tons of games on here. A lot of the classics Dungeons and Dragons. Dragon Ball Z. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's Galaga at the bottom there. Frogger. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and play a quick game of Frogger. You can see at the top with some of these games, you're going to notice a little cutoff. Like at the very top, it's supposed to say high score and one up. It's actually cut off. And that, that's just based off the emulator used. Everything's not going to be exactly perfect, but it's definitely still playable. Exit out of this. Just hit the exit button. Go down to exit and you can exit it. I go ahead and just go through the pages really quick here. As you guys can see at the top, there's pages, there's 130 pages, and there's 10 games on each page. I mean, lots and lots of games. Go ahead and play a little bit of Tekken 3 here. Just so you guys can see how it looks. Round one. As you guys can see too, everything's on the screen. From top to bottom, everything fits on the screen nicely. This is actually a PlayStation game.
And like I said, you can change the difficulty too. You guys get the idea. All right, guys. So like I said, just want to do this video just to inform those of you that's not familiar with this Pandora box. Um, I know a lot of people are out there shopping around for these arcade one-ups, and they're great. It's kind of awesome that these are in their own cabinet and everything. Um, but for those of you that want a little bit more out of their money, like I said, this is 200 250 bucks. I'll post a link in the description box where you can get them at. Um, and they're pretty easy to hook up. It's just HDMI and power cord to your TV or if you want to use a uh, computer monitor, you can use the VGA. Um, got two player controls here. I also I haven't tried it yet, but I've also read that you can actually use this control stick and run USB to your PlayStation and if you want to actually use this as a controller for your PlayStation on certain games supposedly you're supposed to be able to do that too. I haven't tried it yet um, but that's what I've heard so all in all I think it's a good buy if you want a bunch of games to play um, and if you have uh, a little bit of DIY skills you actually instead of leaving this on the table like how I got it right now that might be good for you but if you actually want an authentic cabinet set up you actually probably could make a cabinet for this and put a this is a 50 inch screen put a, maybe a smaller screen in a cabinet and uh, make your own arcade cabinet it'd be kinda cool alright guys so that's gonna be about it for this video you guys got any questions on the Pandora box Put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you guys are interested in this, I'll put a link in the description box. So you guys click on that link and it'll take you to where you can buy this at. If you guys found this video useful, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel, hit that subscription button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I do my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.